Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every single day on Twitch TV, and I also do fun little tips and tricks videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. We always, I'm always kind of showcasing little tips and tricks on on things that you can do in the game. But today, I want to kind of touch uh, base on what I think the next few reworks should be. And of course, I'm interested to know what you might think as well. I believe that coming soon, we're going to see a big change coming to pets. The reason being is not a lot of people actually go for pets nowadays. A lot of people find that pets get in the way. They tend to kind of like, if you're going to place the structure down, they tend to just be in the wrong place at the wrong time uh, with little to no benefits at all. There's really only maybe one pet that really does anything that that's really need uh, needed to do. And that's, um, you know, kind of depending on what you believe as well. And of course, this is my personal opinion on what I think needs to be changed. But of course, I would love, love, love to know what you think needs to be changed. All these ideas, of course, can be kind of projected on the on the Clay forums. For example, Clay always has like little ideas channels that you can post in. Um, however, I find that it's always interesting to kind of make these videos on YouTube to get like a direct feedback while you guys watch this video and hear what I have to say. It'd be kind of cool to hear what you guys have to say too. So let's start. So I've kind of already talked about this numerous times and I really do think that pets need to have a big, big change. And this is part of it. I think that right now pets, unfortunately, are not used that often. If you do see a pet, it's just for kind of like aesthetically and you're just walking around with a nice pet with you. And for that, I originally when I've played Don't Stop Together, I would get pets all the time. And then eventually I migrated away from it because like I said, there's no benefits behind it. So I think that we could stand to see a small little change with that. Um, and here's my ideas. For example, the kitty kit. The little kitty is great, the cute little cat. I think that one, all pets should have the ab ability to actually disable pet noises in the, uh, in the settings. So you go into the settings of Don't Starve Together and there's an uh, option there for critter noise and you can ch and check that off. Because I play with a mod that basically allows you to turn that off. And I'm actually going to make a video on how to show that uh, for uh, anybody that finds that the noises that they make, is it could be a little bit annoying at times. So that would be really cool to have that. Now, moving on to the actual ability of this, I believe that the little cat should have an inventory space of maybe two to four spots that lets you hold items. So we all know that uh, cat coons in the game, they hold items, they bring them back to their little stumps and you can go there and get them. Uh, so something like that would be really unique. Um, I think two to four spots is ideal. I would even maybe put it to three because then you're kind of on that little bit of a threshold where you're not really overlapping with the Chester or anything like that, but two to four spots would be ideal. And that would be great if a little kitty cat could just wander around and hold four specific items for you. Mind you, they would be, you know, most likely maybe not like a stack of logs, but maybe one individual item. I'm not too sure if that would be something like that, but in a sense, it would be really unique to have that availability. A Vargling. Well, I think a Vargling should do one thing and one thing only. It should give you a, a benefit for when you're attacking. So basically, it won't attack for you because obviously we all know that pets do not have HP and we don't want to see pets get hurt. So, but it would give you a buff for when you are attacking. So just kind of maybe like a 10% attacking buff or something like that to do it just a little bit more damage would be very unique. The Ulet. Well, I think the Ulet is very unique because you could obviously, you know, it has a bunch of different things. For example, you, you there are different things that it, it, to make it like you need the guacamole, you need the, um, you know, obviously need the steel wool and stuff like that. Now, I think that it would be really cool if you could actually have it either just steel wool just fall off of it um, after a while because we all know like, you know, little, little tiny sheeps like, I mean, it'd be nice to have like little little pieces kind of come off it that you can use in the game. Um, other than that, I haven't really thought too much on on this one, so I'd be kind of interested to know what you might think would be kind of cool, uh, but I, that's really the only thing I can think of. Um, and I, I mean, I think them spitting would be a little bit, <laughs> a little far-fetched, so I think just them like randomly like releasing their wool would be really really cool the broodling there's a few options one the ability to cook off of it so you could actually have like a portable basically a portable fire you wouldn't uh, necessarily like have a lot of light from it but the ability to actually you know if you stand close to it or if it's next to you it gives off a little bit of heat um, and potentially the ability to actually roast things on it for example a piece of meat or something like that you can give it to it and you and just by it touching it would actually um, cook that 
cook that item. And I think that'd be really unique and really cool. But if it could be one or the other, it could either just give off light, uh, but we already have that with another pet, which I'm gonna show you here soon. Or I think it should just make you warm when you have it near you. So basically gives you a little bit more heat, but just not enough to keep you warm. If that is too overpowered, I think they should shift it over to the ability to actually cook off of it, which would be really, really cool too. Now, the Glom Glom. Pretty straightforward. I think if it's a pet, it should mimic Glomer in a sense where it drops not the full goop, but a portion of the goop. Basically a one-third piece of goop that could be that could be eventually uh, turned into a uh, glomer goop. So for example, you, it drops like basically one third of the value of a, of a pure glomer goop on the ground, maybe once every hour or something like that. And as it does it, you can pick up that and you can use it for small healing, like basically one third of the healing that a normal glomer goop would, or you can then craft it to make glomer goop. I think that isn't a brilliant idea. I think that's awesome. I don't think this they should give you any sanity for having this creature, but I think that could be very useful. The giblet, pretty straightforward. I think the giblet should drop you seeds. I think periodically it should just randomly give you a seed every now and then, or it should, if it's near you, you could put it in seed collecting mode where it, where it goes out and finds the seeds and gets the seeds for you off the ground. So you don't even have to pick them up. But I think that it dropping seeds would be pretty cool. The Mothlane already does what it needs to do and that's giving you light. So I don't think that there's any reason to change this character. The Friendly Peeper. Okay, so the Friendly Peeper kind of is just there. It doesn't really do anything. I think it should really drop the little Milky Whites. I mean, I think it should that or because it's so hard to acquire because you basically well not hard but because you have to fight um, a boss to acquire it it would be kind of cool to see this thing actually help you in battle and attack um, and, but still be invincible because the only thing is you have to realize about all these pets is there's no way to destroy them right they're 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 always there so then if they were to be able to attack or something I don't think that that would really be viable because it just wouldn't make any sense and that's why I think that they should do with that but in this case you do have to fight a boss in order to acquire it so in that case I could see this doing a little bit of damage but at the same time that would be kind of upper grabs i really think it should just drop any uh milky whites because milky whites are basically just using ingredients so that's my opinions of course there are a few other changes that i was thinking that would be kind of interesting but i think these are the top ones that i've talked about and kind of went over and everyone kind of seems to agree on if you have anything that you want to talk about or maybe you have an idea feel free to let me know in the comments and of course i'm always open to multiple different ideas for different videos so if you're like hey i want to see a video on blank please let me know i'm always interested in doing that as well but there's my ideas i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to leave a like and uh, and comment down below if you enjoyed this video and of course i will see you guys in the next video thank you